Okay, so we're going to talk about why I'm such an open book about all of the health issues that have been going on lately. Really, it comes down to um, I've had a lot of you email me and sort of say, why are you sharing so much? This is really personal. I could never put that out there. And I've had just as many people email me and say, I'm having the same issue, I don't know what to do, or I've been going through this, or thank you for sharing this because now I can go get something checked out. And here's the thing, I don't think I can be a good, healthy, living blogger and not tell you about everything. Life isn't always sunshine and roses, although in the Florida state it is a lot more that way. The truth is, things are going to happen. And for me, healthy living is more than just about how far I can run. That makes me extremely happy, but that's only a piece of the puzzle. I need to feel good emotionally, spiritually, mentally. And going through these challenges means that I don't always feel fantastic. So I have to find ways to make myself feel better, whether it's petting this little kitty down here, it's taking a run, it's putting the right foods in my body. So even though I'm not happy with where I am because of all this estrogen, if I hadn't been fueling right and I hadn't been exercising, I would have been in far worse shape. So that's part of why I'm sharing it. A lot of it is also because when I share with you, I'm able to be a little more upbeat about it. The fact of the matter is that I don't feel well, but I'm tired of walking around telling people that I don't feel well. I'm tired of not feeling well. And so when you share, you get feedback, you get new ideas, you get love, you get support. And hopefully at the end of the day, what I get is better. And I get a reminder that this is just one thing. It's just a small, small bump in the overall scheme of life. So. There are certain things I definitely do not share with you guys, but for the most part, I will continue to be an open book, and I hope that you'll continue to enjoy that and learn something from each and every experience. So, namaste, as my increased yoga practice teachers would say, and I'll talk to you soon.